Sins for the Fall of Rome. This was our hook or anticipatory set where we discussed what's going on with America. In the first couple decades, we are concerned that we're losing our edge. And then hopefully we discussed or identified some problems facing the U.S. and maybe causing the decline of America. Well, all of this was to get us into why Rome fell. Let's clear up some language issues, historical language issues. So we have BCE, and that's before Common Era. We used to say as historians, BC, before Christ, but not everyone believes in Christianity, and so they made it more scientific before Common Era, and that's any time before the year zero. Any time after the year zero, it's the Common Era, and we leave out the Common Era in our date. It's just, it's it's just implied, okay? But if it's before year zero, then we would put the BCE. This is important, especially in ancient history. We won't see this much in our world history because it's after the fall of Rome, which is 476 uh, CE. This short video is going to show you the fall of Rome. I'm not going to play it. So here are some of the main reasons for the fall of Rome. And all of this has to do with the DBT, <laughs> DBQ, which is document-based questions. And so you kind of analyzed um, a chart, some maps, some essays, um, etc. And all of this is trying to reason as to why Rome fell or offer reasons. Um, and all of the, these are primary sources and secondary sources. So what I would do if I were you is I would have my the station work or the information and you can find that on my website. You go to the seventh grade area, Rome, and you will see the fall of Rome, station information. Don't worry about the questions because I beamed you a copy through Google Classroom. I, I left this here just as a reference, okay? So don't, don't, don't download that and then try to turn it in. So you would have the station work and... Uh, and I believe we're going to read this together. Just the, this is the background essay. Okay. And then the rest of the documents are lettered. Okay. Document A is, is a chart. Um, B has excerpts. And one of them, this is a primary source. This is a secondary source. Look at the dates. We have a map. We have an excerpt again. And it's a primary source. Look at the date. And an excerpt from a uh, historical uh, uh, text, and this is a primary source as well. And then this is a secondary source because of the dates. And so you have you kind of wade through this, take some time, but then as you as you read through it, like you had examined the chart, then you would go to the DBQ, and you would input your answers okay so again we read the background essay together and then we would input what we think the answer was there's several ways of doing this you can go back and forth or you can you can cut and put them side by side um, it's up to you there's several not extensions but there are um, what would you call them can assist you or you can just do this manually it's really easy to do where you put your questions on one side and then you have the the actual 
station information on the other side. And that way you can kind of go back and forth. I don't know how big your screen is. I don't know if this is wonky, but that's what I would do. Okay. So what, and what you should probably do is do this, do the background essay, which we did in class, documents A, B, and C by the next meeting. And then we will discuss documents A, B, and C in class, and then you'll have time to continue on and do the rest of the documents. And you can do this during class if we're discussing it or in the, the asynchronous time. You can do it as homework at night, but try to finish it all by, let's say, Saturday.